Griffin, Orgon Cannon, facing due south at Hurricane in the Gulf. And it's Pegasus. And that's a VR wand right there. It's a Tesla coil, really. It's 432 hertz. And I have that connected to both of these right now with, with this ring. So. You can see right here. And over here too. All the way up to the copper. And you can barely see that one. It comes all the way over here too to the selenite. The one that's open. See? This will shock the shit out of you. But right now it's putting that into the orgone and throwing it out. Right out the hurricane. That's a nice piece right there. Hello, it's Monday, September 9th, 2 o'clock p.m. So there's a new hurricane that's forming in the Gulf, same place the last one did. And I have four dishes pointing at it right now, two of them have the wand I just showed you connected to both of them so I'm putting out some serious energy to this thing and, and it's calming down this is the last 200 frames which is about 24 hours or a little bit more that's the latest right there so that's where it's starting it puffs up it organizes then I start pointing everything down here and then boom it's calming down a little bit after this right here which is now right there This is just 48 frames. This is like 12 hours, I think. And that's right now. So a, a lot of it went away. I'm pointing both of them due south, or all four of them due south from Houston, which is right here where my cursor is. So if you can see that up here. That's where Houston is, so I'm pointing straight down. It's supposed to turn this way with the jet stream anyway. It's supposed to turn towards Louisiana. The way all this wind's going. But it was very black and spinning right there. And now there's just a little piece, but... Usually that just means it's going to jump somewhere else. It's not really gone all the way, it's just, it's about to spring, jump somewhere. Probably this way over here. 
I'm gonna keep an eye on it though, but it's pretty close. It's going fast. So wherever it's gonna end up, it's gonna it's gonna end up there pretty fast, like within the next day or less than a day. We'll see. I'm gonna keep tabs on it, but I just want to show you. There's been a lot of other little small storms that I haven't recorded just because they weren't really that noteworthy. But if it's a hurricane, I have to report this. And I have to try, and it's working. By the way, this is what Orgone does to water in the freezer with a little bit of food coloring. When you freeze it, it just next to it, not even inside the glass, it makes a tornado, frozen water. Every time it does that, it makes a tornado, it freezes it like that. That's how it's able to stop storms. Because on the molecular level, it makes tiny tor uh, toruses, vortexes, tornadoes. But it's life force, God force energy. Well, that's all for now, folks. I just want to show you this real quick. Document the possible effects of my Orgone cannons pointed right at this thing. And you can see it does have an effect. Unless it's all just coincidence every single time, but come on, people. I don't think a credible doctor like Wilhelm Wilhelm Reich would have been in this kind of work if it was if it was a uh, not real. The only thing was, Doctor Reich didn't have radar accessible like this to where he could see the effects easily of his equipment in the macro level 40,000 feet in the air looking down like I do right here this is a real really powerful tool because I, I can I, that's how I figured out you can aim it and it has an effect on them just by pointing at 45 degrees which means there has to be a, a stratus a firmament or something it's about bouncing off of and hitting this thing So have a good one. I'll get back to you on the next one, uh, depending on where it goes. It's supposed to hit Louisiana, we'll see. It's getting very close. So, we'll see. Have a good one, thanks.